Colonel William Guile. One of the greatest martial artists in the world travels the global tournament circuit, using it to conceal his top secret mission as leader of an elite group of international crime fighters known only by their code name, Street Fighters. The heroic man beast, Blanca, hard kicking fighting machine, Chun Li. team of the most amazing warriors ever seen have joined forces with Guile to combat the criminal empire of Shadaloo and its superhuman leader, Bison. They have their own code of honor, discipline, justice, commitment, and together they will triumph against the forces of evil. Street Fighter! been disturbed. The fire grows closer. There can be no peace for me until I find an answer. I must know the terror. The car's magic will show me the truth. The first is a fool. The second is a beast. And the third is doomed by fire. The fool, the beast, and the one who is doomed have increased the power of their chi, and in so doing have upset the balance of our universe. But for good or evil, a final card will tell. Death. No, the world will not die in flame. I have sworn to use my soul power to save it. I must find the three, be they fool, beast, or doomed by fate's fiery hand. And I must destroy them. Did you see something? Is the monster gaining? I, I don't think so, but I don't want it anywhere near us again. and serenity. Let us help you now. Help you control your anger. Let me go! Look deeply into the soul gem, Blanca. See how your rage distorts the righteousness that is at your core. You could get us in so much trouble, Ken. In Tokyo, one of the safest cities in the world. Hey, what do you mean me? You were assigned to protect the girl too, Ryu. Protect her from you, it looks like. I should never have let you talk me into taking her out of the hotel. <laughs> she wanted to go dancing. <laughs> witness in a case with international repercussions. Well, how was I to know we'd run into the gang that was hired to eliminate her? Oh. Well, what's a gang really against the world's greatest warrior? I should never have called you that. Can I help it if you're perceptive? Uh, thank you. Hey, what are friends for? And like a diamond, I'm a girl's best friend. Terry, Forget Mr. Wet Blanket here. 
Is it too late for us to go to that club you told me about now, Kenny? <laughs> Never too late, babe. The fool is far too dangerous to be free. Hey! Hey! What's going on? Where am I? I gotta find a way to stop falling! Blanca! Hey, buddy. What's going on? I thought you were my friend. Why did you bring me here? Me? Hey, I didn't do anything. It was that purple, babe. I ripped you to pieces. Perfect. Under my control, they'll destroy each other's evil. Thus does Rose fulfill her vow and save the world. Being a monster won't help you, Blanca! Uh, call me monster, you fool. You'll pay for that! Monster can, and I hate you. Hadouken! Now you die, monster! Finish him. For the good of the entire human race, you must destroy him. I. I can't. I fight, but not to kill. He is evil. As you are evil. No! He's... my friend. Evil entities should not hesitate to cause harm. Have I misunderstood? My probe tells me they are not evil. I... I merely assumed. <sighs> you... You forced us to fight, didn't you? With some sort of psychic force. No one changes me ever again. I'll destroy you. Silence. My name is Rose. I felt the balance of the chi shift toward evil. I learned your chi power had increased, and I believed that you two were the source of that evil. I sought to have you destroy each other and thereby save the world, but I was wrong. <laughs> How could you think I'm evil? The discipline under which you trained is based upon the assassin's art, Ken Masters. Or did Goken neglect to tell you this? No. My tradition produced Akuma, who is evil. I know that. <laughs> but I'm okay. I see that now. It must then be the third man, the Man of Doom, who threatens the world. But so far, I have been unable to determine who he may be. Not healing fast enough. I cannot be so vulnerable. I must bathe in Kali's mystic energy once again. According to the ancient texts, a man who tastes your power too often ceases to be your master and becomes your slave. But surely in those long gone times, there was no man such as I. There's never been a man like you, love. But still, those warnings were written for a reason. Bison? They say no mortal can truly possess your power, Kali. But I shall. The fire! The fire begins again! now, Rose? My home. The disruption in the soul power broke my concentration and returned us to the physical plane. With my psychic gifts, I am flooded by the thoughts and emotions of others nearby. Even your presence is disturbing to me. <laughs> Lots of women find me disturbing to their peace of mind. Tell me what you meant before uh, about the fire. Ever since I was young, I have had the gift of premonition, though it hasn't always seemed to be a gift. 
It wasn't until I met my teacher that I understood and accepted the responsibility imposed by this gift. I have devoted my life since then to defending the Earth against mystic threats which few men could fathom or even believe. Lately, I've been troubled more and more by dreams of the world ending in flame. Dreams provoked by the imbalance of the chi. Dreams as real as that which we all just experienced. Are you willing to join me in a ritual? It is called the Rite of Revelation, and through it we may find the truth. Even the truth we hide from ourselves. Sure, but I'm not hiding anything. <laughs> There's no place to hide anything. You're too shallow. The time for conflict among ourselves is past, Blanca. From now on, we work together to save the world. They say no one controls Kali, yet you dance for me, my love, feeding me with power undreamt of by common men, the power to heal and the power to destroy. Bison, you have to stop. Kali's power is too much for even you to contain. Listen to me. I love you. Kali is the goddess of death, and the forces you're unleashing could destroy the planet. If the planet will not bow to me as its natural ruler, it deserves to die. <laughs> Now we find the truth. The truth we try to hide. Look into my mind. I will show you the memory that spawns my fear. I was in the marketplace when I, I felt someone brush against me, a, a tall man in a blue cloak, or, or so I thought. But when I turned, I saw at first not a man, but a huge red flame. I knew evil had come. A and I sensed that he too had the gift of soul power, only his soul was twisted. After that, I knew I must become Earth's defender against the misuse of the soul power's mystic force. <sighs> Bison! This is why we've come together. We face a common foe. This bison is the evil. Well, yeah, any street fighter could have told you that. But all I knew was fire and dreams. Now the evil has a name. Now the evil can be destroyed. Uh, easier said than done there, Rose. Nobody knows where bison's hiding. I can find him. Now that I know who it is I seek, I can make a mystic link to the fiery domain that is in his mind. And when I do, I can challenge him on the psychic plane, distract him, so that you two can reach and attack his physical self. So long as he engages me, his physical form is vulnerable. Well, sounds like a plan. So, where do we find him? Rose? Rose? He is in a castle on a crag seven kilometers to the northwest. And the fire is burning, now! Seven kilometers? We can't get there in time. For the fate of the world, you must try. His power is increasing. With every moment, if we are to stop him, it must be now. The fire, the fire! Oh, man, she's somewhere else altogether. Come on, Blanca, let's go. I sense a challenger seeking to enter my psychic realm. Come forth, reveal yourself, and witness the inner power of Bison. I am here. You? I knew. At the very moment I saw you in the marketplace those long years ago, that it was a mistake not to kill you. But I let you live, because I felt an odd bond between us, and sensed that you alone might understand the power I crave. Yes, Bison, I understand power, but I use it to protect mankind from monsters like you. Tell me your name, woman. Rose. A beautiful name. On a tombstone! Bison! He's in the zone, just like Rose said! Completely defenseless! My love is never defenseless. We are here to protect him. Cammy! What? 
No greeting for Zangief? Hmm. Bison's lackey not worth greeting. Step aside, traitor. Bison is ours. No. I'll defend my love to the death. I should have killed you before. This time, there'll be no mistake. You might have had your way with a young, inexperienced psychic. But now I am a master of soul power. Look! Cammy! I know you've fallen for Bison, but hey, that's okay. Babes are always falling for the wrong guy. Take it from me. Hadouken! You'll get over him. You just need to meet the right guy. Like, uh, me for instance. You know, I've always liked you. I'm gonna waste you, Ken. Ken and Drill! You almost brought the fire upon us, Bison. But the soul power led me here in time. Soul power? What is that compared to my psycho power? I'll show you. It is nothing. Zangief! Blanca never liked you. You're too late, Blanca. Don't you know that? Bison was too tough for you before. Now he's invincible. <sighs> Why would he let Blanca do this to you? Because Bison know I take care of myself. Even my wildest dreams. My total victory over you, over the world, is but minutes away. I know dreams, Bison, but you do not know me. <laughs> but you are beginning to learn. And you will learn that the limitless power of Kali is within me. The power of Kali, that is where you draw your strength. Ken Blanca, his power comes from the Kali statue. You must destroy it. Uh, I'm a little busy here, Rose. Blanca, destroy the statue of Kali. Psycho Crusher! Blanca, you must heed me. You must overcome your rage. The fate of the entire world rests with you! Sangif, take care of self real good! Sangif, leave now! Once the statue of Kali was destroyed and the battle with Bison ended, I awoke in my home and came straight here. <laughs> what about Bison and Kami? They both live. Bison's power, even without Kali, was sufficient to protect them, as mine protected you. But the battle is finished for now, and we were triumphant. Okay, but this all started with your tarot cards. Only, well... Blanca did control his rage, so he wasn't the beast. And we did all the right things at the right time, so no one was the fool. No one died, so... so no one was doomed. I have considered that. Was Bison all three? His mad quest for power makes him both a fool and a beast, and will ultimately lead to his doom. Could it be that I am all three? A fool for not knowing my true foe. A beast for bringing you into my battle against your wills. And doomed if I lose my ultimate battle with Bison. I must retire to contemplate these mysteries. Secure in the knowledge that I am not the sole defender of the Earth. Thank you. You have given me new hope. 
Well, you can dream peacefully now. Don't worry. Next time Bison shows his ugly mug, he'll still have to face the Street Fighters. Jeez, God.